This video is made possible by 343 Studios. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I've got three great big giant boxes beside me, along with what's over here that you probably can't see in frame right now. But we've got some stuff from Sears Link here, uh, and it's massive. As you can see in the thumbnail, it's a truss. And uh, those of you that are out buying global trussing and all that stuff that is way too expensive for my blood, you can pick this whole setup right here from Glo or from uh, Cedars Link, which is basically identical to Global Truss for about less than half the price. Uh, they have this on their website slash uh, eBay page and their Amazon page for around, I believe it was twelve hundred. I think twelve thirteen hundred. I think they've bumped it up now because. Everyone's starting to get it, and of course, now that other people see this video, a lot of people will probably go out and order this. I think it's closer to 1800 now, uh, but it's still more than likely wealth it, with it. You get the base plates, you get the elbows, you can use this at different uh, ways. We're going to show you how you can use this. I believe I can use this on my uh, crank up stands if I want to use it that way and not have to use the whole arch setup. But this is basically what Cedar Link calls their go post. So, we're going to go ahead crack it open. We're going to open all these up. Should be able to do it. You probably can't see that. Look at that. That is nice square trussing. That is very, very, very nice trussing. I love it. We're gonna put up lighting in this. Uh, we're gonna truss warm it. It's lightweight. I mean, very, very lightweight. It doesn't seem very heavy in the box. Peter's Link, this is nice. I got my girlfriend behind the camera watching. And what do you think of this? Uh. It's nice. She hasn't seen it all. That's what she said to me when she first met me. Nice. And here we are. And here, so, I'm gonna grab, uh, what do you call it? Put you guys on a time lapse. We're gonna open the other three pieces. This is gonna step up my game a lot. Uh, they do have bottom plates, uh, square plates, and they have top plates you can get for, um, if you wanna use these for totems. Now these are six and a half foot pieces. You get three in the set. Now I know Global Trust, Global, which is the kind of people that came out with this, has this piece, exactly this piece, same piece, same size, same square and dimension. And I got quoted from a guy in a place in Matt Toon, not gonna say who, $1,400 for one of these with the bottom plate and top plate. Now to me, that's outrageous. So if you wanna spend $1,400 on a global piece of truss, go right ahead. Or you can buy this from Cedars Link for what it would cost to buy one, you could buy this entire set. And if you want to, it comes with the pins. I'm sure they're in one of these boxes, probably that one. But you could actually hook these together and use these on a crank up stand, which we're gonna show you uh, in a few. I'll have to go pick up my crank up stands. They so this is vertical, what they call vertical truss, just like this. And this would be a horizontal truss, which is what I've been using right now. And it's strong, it's heavy, it's aluminum, but it's heavy aluminum. And you take some polish and put on this, get the aluminum polish and polish this up, you talk about shine. All three of those unboxed, not a single thing wrong with them, no damage whatsoever, very nice trussing. Uh, it is 11 and almost 11 and a half inches. Uh, my big par lights from Sheds so far will not fit in there. They're just, these are like 14 inches in diameter or something. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the base plates now. Oh, Base plates. So if you're looking for your pins, right there are the base plates. Red bottom. Let's go ahead and 
to pull this all off. And the cool part is, see all these holes? Take an Allen wrench, and I can adjust this to be wherever I want. If I want it more further back, if I want it more further forward, like I said, you could get plating, I'm pretty sure, to match for square if you want to use these for totems. But what they do, I'll go ahead and put one on here for you. Is we take this and it just slides right down over that. Okay. Same thing with this one. I can't see it very well, but just slide down over those pins. And then you drive those pins and then put a cotter pin or an R key on them. And here's what the pins look like. Just the same thing as a global truss. Alrighty. Well, so we've got. Those done, I haven't got the pins in them yet, they're just sitting there, but I wanted to go ahead. These are bands with really good bands. Let me sharpen my blade up here a little bit. There's the top piece for one. All right, There's two of them there. So, can't see me real well here. You might be able to feel it in your mouth. All right, so we did open up the other corner piece. I did chip them. They are in here. Heavy little dudes. Open these up with a knife. They basically go. Right in there, and then it gives you a mounting point for your deal. You've got four of those. Line them up with your holes. So then eventually we're going to build all this together. It goes just like that. Then what you do, these pins, and you just drive them in. And that's what would hold it on there. All right, guys, there she is. Oh yeah, that thing's pretty freaking cool. I like it. And uh, it will accept the O-clamps I have. I just have to take all the inserts out and then because it is a bigger piece of pipe so i'm not for sure if my crank up stands will work if i was to use it just as a vertical or a horizontal press i haven't figured that out quite yet but it's pretty big it's pretty massive i like it and as you see here i put one of the one piece sections up on crank up stands and they will work on crank up stands just so you know all right guys there it is set up goes up the same way that Global Trust does. goes up with uh, the pins, the cutter pins, which also on those pins, one, the deals that go down inside the tube, one side of those has a bigger hole than the other side. So make sure that you guys are checking that out. If you can't get the pin to go through, flip it around and uh, it should go right in. Didn't take, a lot of these I was able to push with my fingers, a couple of them I did have to tap just a little bit to get them in. Uh, we have the rock bill, rock wedges up in the truss right now. I do have one laying up there. I do have one with an O-clamp. Uh, with the O-clamps, I had to take the inserts completely out uh, so that it would clamp to it, because this is true two inch piping. This is not inch and a half. Uh, I did take uh, the bolt out of this because it is the same size that I need to bolt the uh, deal to the uh, truss, the uh, truss warming. We've got three walk rock wedges and we've got one of the 6x18s from Sheds uh, up lighting. The one from the Sheds is the uh, master. These are all master slave. If you're going to go out and buy a nice truss, again, you could link these uprights and this vertical piece all together and make one huge run. I'm also thinking about getting a one meter piece to go on this just to get this up a little higher. It is eight feet something to the top bar, and I think it's, uh, well, I'm six foot three six foot four, six foot two, somewhere around there. Uh, so you can kind of say it's another foot 
roughly another foot and a half above my head. So uh, when I set this up, we'll set my event table up. I'll shove this out kind of forward in front of me. All the lighting will be on here and uh, it's gonna look pretty freaking cool. Uh, these little tubes right here, uh, they're a little less than an inch. They're probably three quarter uh, deal. I would love to be able to clamp to these to do the truss warming. Um, so I'm going to have to try to see if I can find an O-clamp small enough. I think I'm pretty sure they make them. Pretty, pretty sure. I know um, DJ Barr, if you guys watch him, kind of did some power setting on this. Uh, so I think we would be able to do that, which another thing I'm going to do is I'm probably going to be getting two more of those power bars. So I'd like to mount power here. Uh, actually, I would probably need one more because I could mount one up there in the center, one here, and one over here. So I just need one more of them uh, so that I can mount two power deals here to mount powered in for the up lighting, to mount for the beam bars. And then this one up here will be able to cover everything that's up here because a lot of this stuff I can power, power jump to it. So I'll, so I'll just have one here in the center, and two on each post, which I have two. So I'll be ordering another one of those power bars from ADJ which if you want, check out the video on that. Full truss is expensive. If you guys are wanting something, you know, if, if, if you're trying to find something and not break the bank, and you've got a little over a grand to spend, go check out Cedars and I think it's gonna be really, really awesome. Okay, guys, well, that's how it will look so far. A um, few things are going to be changing, and I'm not 100% sure about some placement of lighting and how I like it. So give me your thoughts below on what you think. So, of course, we've got the beam bars. Those were going to stay. I think a lot of people like those when I put them on trussing or tripod legs or whatever like that. I think it looks a lot better there. I've debated on getting another set, putting another set right next to it, but I think two will be plenty. So then we go up here to these moving heads, and these are actually going to be, uh, they're in perfectly good working order. I'm uh, just going to upgrade to some new uh, lights from Chave, uh, which if you stick tuned to the channel, stick tuned, that's a new word, it's like Nicktoons, but stay tuned to the channel, you'll see which ones those are going to be. ADJ Stingers. Two of those, one of them's tilted a little bit further down on the truss than that one is. We've got the sheds, 18 by 18 pars back there, which would be for washing, sealing. Haven't, haven't decided if I'm leaving those up there. Also got the uh, Chave Wash X Hex. I haven't decided if I wanna keep these, get rid of these, get another Wash Hex. Put two of those up there, kind of doing what those are doing. Those would definitely be brighter, I think, than those, but those are pretty bright. So I haven't decided with that. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, we do have an, uh, rock wedges there, 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 and down there. I'm gonna probably try to wire these so that they have power constantly, never go dead, because these, are pretty good, but they don't have as big as battery as the uh, Best Par 60s. They have about half the size of the battery, or a little over half, the, a little less than half the size of the battery than the Best Par 60s do. They have a good battery, don't get me wrong. But uh, when you're doing single coloring, they last forever. When you do changing colors, strobe lighting, you know, sound active, when they change colors, they don't last as long. So. Um, I'm gonna probably wire this all in with the ADJ uh, power bar link. And we're gonna be linking all these together. We have one 15 footer here. It actually is connected over there, but we're gonna be putting another one in the center so we can plug some stuff in on the center. Let's a lot better on cabling this year. Um, ordering some cable ties to get everything nice and clean uh, to the truss. 
I've just got some cables running here because I haven't got everything hooked up. I have, I'm just kind of got it basically played for. Uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, if you think I should do anything different. I do like, I do not have this, uh, these lights as bright as possible. I've only got them at about 45 out of 255. So they're just enough there that it's warming just enough. It is putting a little bit glow on the ceiling, but uh, I haven't also decided if I thought maybe about putting these up here and having them face down instead of up. So I could just mount them here. Uh, I had to mount them here to the side because this is only three quarter inch uh, pipe. And I don't know if I could find one with a big enough bolt to thread into that. Because it has a truss mounting deal so you could truss mount them. So yeah, but it'll be cool. It'll all be wireless. I do not have to DMX all that stuff. Everything's wireless. I can DMX them with the other lights if I want to into the shows. Uh, but this will probably just stay truss warmed I mean, I'll probably run it on sound active, maybe a slow fade, something like that. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. About Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.